dos mercados são concorrenciais. Foram estes os tópicos que nós pedimos aos nossos, ao nosso distinto painel de oradores esta tarde para tratar, cada um, enfim, consoante a sua especialidade. Eu começo, começo por dar a palavra ao Sr. Jacques Amand, que é o Presidente do Regulador Belga, e a quem pedi, por acaso, a intervenção mais abrangente, tocando um maior número de pontos, e, portanto, dou-lhe a palavra com esse fim. One, two. And thank you very much. When we have so much subject to address, I cannot stay on my seat, of course. It's not possible. Then I have good news for you and bad news. The good news is that I will try to address the issue you just highlighted. The bad news is that we will need at least two days. Hopefully, you have drinks here, you have food, and it's comfortable. It's not too hot because it's hot outside. But, you know, first of all, Thank you, Fatima. The first time I came to Lisboa, 25 years ago, it was just fantastic. When I came yesterday evening, I could visit the city before and revisit it. It was so exciting because we have so much tools today. We have children, and I, you have probably children, and you saw that just on one click, you can have fantastic surprise in front of your door when you see people delivering goods in just one single click. And sometimes we might feel very strange. Then we are a very strange world. Then 20 years ago, we had TV, we had telephones, we had way to communicate, we had networks very, very slow, and we had time to take drinks in the fridge. It was the good time. Then, then we raised question, what happened? What happened is that we changed the way we live, we work, we play. We had And we, you became, and I saw a few of you, we are taking names, of course, because as regulators we control everything. And then you are multitasking. I'm talking and you are chatting. And then we have mobility now because you can even chat working. It's fantastic. And we have millions of devices connected. That's the world. Networks, copper lines, cables have been upgraded and providing new services. We became whole digital. That's the new ecosystem. Convergence is becoming everywhere, and the only thing that change is just everything. Then how do we do that as regulator when we have revolution? Network expanding, we have applications everywhere, that's just, we don't use type of services anymore. We have applications, we are always connected. We have smart customers, because I heard that we are smart, because maybe we were not smart before. And then we have robots talking, machines talking, It's so funny, and we all become smart from the city, from the cars, from the people. We are all smart. No, no, don't question yourself. You are smart now. <laughs> and then thanks to technology. It became so simple. So simple because we have nice technologies, we have big data, we have cloud. I hope we understand what, the, what, that, what I, I mean. We have new ways to do it, and I can still talk, I can now talk to my watch. This is unbelievable what technology is making possible. We can replay the video because, of course, I want to see my movies when I'm in Portugal. I will replay everything. And we have no limits. Fixed mobile, what does it mean? And we have bundles, and then everything is changing. We have bundles, we have everything. Do we have one service, another? It's different. We have unlimited packages, no limits in anything. We have the speed of light on, on fiber at least if you have, but we have also speed of light on cables. This is a wonderful world with a new competition. This is the new ecosystem. Then, as regulators, you know, when we wake up in the morning, I'm shaving, and I say, what I will regulate today? <laughs> of course, because, you know, I have a job, then we have to, to say, that's the new normal. We have a tsunami of data. We have an increase of capacity demands everywhere. We have an industry trend which is increasing at speed. We can't believe it everywhere. And we have technology immigration. I, can still, I thought we had X25 and new technology. It's still following. But we have issues. Security. We have issue about privacy. We have issue about new IP networks and interoperability and standardization. We have Internet of Things and we need spectrum. And we have content we would like to address to everywhere when we want. And we have, of course, copyrights. And then we have to address that. 
Then, as regulators, sudden needs becoming more complex. What we will do? That's the question. We want to keep the users free. You want to be free. Then we have to raise a number of questions. Back to definitions. What will be the level playing fields and choice? How to address verticalization, integration from networks to content to TV and so on? And what will be the way we will address consolidation? Then in a new competing world, we are talking about ET. That was one of your questions. What's an OTT? I'm still watching for the definition. But they are new competitors, not traditional players. And we see that consumers want to have the choice. And if we look to the new competitors, we don't know anymore what's happening. Who owns the customer? I thought they were working together, all those players, but maybe not. They are partnering. No, I'm sorry, they are competing. Then it's not finished. We don't, we won't, we can't stop. If we can't, we have to follow the evolutions. Applications everywhere. New type of services in the society with untapped values that we can provide from networks. And all players are playing in all the fields. We have no boundaries. As a regulator, I have questions then. How do we tackle that? With an increase of demand of capacity again. With rooming concept disappearing. And of course, everywhere. Because I can still use it in also in Portugal. With speed increasing, networks, 5G coming, simplification networks, quality of services, efficiency, capacity. We don't know what will be the right thing to approach. Then I have a statement. We are not in electronic communications anymore. I'm sorry about that. There are no more silos. And if you believe they are, watch the dinosaur. You are maybe still a dinosaur. Then regulations, quickly to address. What will be the regulation we need to have? And we have very important questions. We have to move on. We have to have regulations addressing the new ecosystem. We have to think beyond, not in bits and bytes. Then thanks to the DSM for the first time, I'm happy and thank you very much for what you said. We are bridging all the dots together. Access, networks, skills, and other topics like security. Stimmerol Infinity, flavor that lasts to help you stay on task. Then we want to have sustainable investment because we would like to be ready for the future. Then four topics quickly to address. We reach an agreement between Parliament and Commission about net neutrality. There will be no restrictions, no discrimination. Specialized services will be allowed and we will have traffic management rules. We will impose some contracts, additional information like, you know, information about transparency on volumes and speed. And we, as regulators, we will have to behave on a special ways. We will have to have definition of technical characteristic, think about QS, and impose when necessary penalties. If we look to access and spectrum, we might discuss, and just for the sake of clarity, because we're streaming now, it does not represent necessarily my last position on the subject. But we have to lower threshold for ex ante regulation. We have to review cycle for regulation. I don't know why we have to do three years when we can keep the rules for five. I don't know what we have to wait three when we have to move faster, and so on and so on. We need to have a new level playing field with the OTTs. We need to address the real problem when necessary. It might be networks, it might be services, it might be content. And regarding spectrum, yes, harmonization, but let's make sure that we can keep agility, flexibilization, and address the real problem when necessary in difficult to reach countries uh, and, and, and areas. On universal service obligations, you know, we for a long time, inclusion is very critical. But we were focusing on connecting on fixed. Maybe we have to rediscuss that and think about connectivity of end user anywhere. Secondly, what we have to think about is the services we would like to make available and not only the connectivity. And think how the USO can be ready with agility to be adapted from time to time with the needs and evolution. Maybe we have to think on a horizontal way and not sectorial. On user protection, and that's something we also addressed, we want to have choice, you saw that. 
Don't tell my children that they don't have to do this because we decided for them. They want to keep the choices. Then we need to do a way and define ways we can maintain that. And also at the same time, how we can switch easily from networks, from applications, and content. And last but not least, addressing the right issues about transparency, protection, and so on. A lot of challenges. Then we have, and not it's fragmented in the EU, some regulators we have also cyber security. Because when we talk about all those challenges, we have also, at least for Belgium, we have also public networks uh, cyber security. And when we have to address those issues, we have to think what will be our role every day. We need to make sure that we understand. We need to make sure that we can bring awareness. We can make sure that we can bridge connectivity between the different parties to make sure that we can address problems. We, can, we have to make sure that we are building expertise and we can react in due time to the real problems. Ladies and gentlemen, in the new ecosystem, net neutrality, spectrum, access, cyber security, universal visa obligations is something we are discussing now. It will impact everything from models, or business models, from services, users, everything. I'm happy to say that we have two ongoing consultations for the moment on those subjects. But we have other consultations ongoing from the Commission for the time being. Let's bring the dots together. Let's make sure that we understand there are no silos anymore. And last but not least, let's make sure that we will build the right level playing field. Then if I finish with that, let's go beyond. Let's make sure that the regulation will be in the new ecosystem lighter, simpler, efficient, having for regulators the right regulatory tools to be agile. And then I will be happy to come back next time having the right services to Lisbon. And thank you very much to do all that all together to go beyond. Thank you.